Okay, worked exam questions on area, uh, not including circles, but I'll do those in another video. Starting off with some basic stuff, we're just counting squares, moving up through some of the formulas and more complicated compound shapes. Okay, so and these are all at foundation level, so up to grade C. Draw a rectangle that's 12 centimeters square, so we want a rectangle that has 12 squares in it. We could just draw uh, a rectangle that is 12 centimeters squares long. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we have to go all the way across for that. So we could draw one. Obviously, if you're doing this in an exam, you would use a ruler. Or you could draw one that is uh, two by six. That's got twelve squares in it. Or you could draw one that's three by four. Or or four by three. Okay, so we've got a, a rectangle made of 24 identical squares. Um, the question is write down the length and width of two other examples. So two things that multiply to give you 24. So we could have 2 times 12, 1 times 24, um, 3 times 8. Or we could actually have some fractional numbers if we wanted, but uh, any of those are fine. Um, usually we make the length bigger than the width, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, why is it not possible to make a square using all 24 tiles? Well, 24 is not a square number, is the reason. So there's no number, uh, whole number, that squaring is 24, because 5 times 5 is 25, and 4 times 4 is 16. So you couldn't make it with a whole number. You can do it with a fraction and all, well, with, a, with a decimal, but you can't do it with a whole number. Um, on this grid draw a square of area of 4 centimeters squared. This is a centimeter square grid, so if, uh, a square of 4 centimeters squares is going to be well, roughly like that. Work out the area of this shape, so that's 1, 2, and that's a half a square, so 2.5 centimeters squared. The area of this square, um, it's been tilted on its side, but if you just break it down into triangles, each of which is a half, we have four halves, so those two make one square, these two make another one, so it's two centimetres squared. Um, show the squares an area of eight, so again if we break it down into triangles, we could even break it down into the squares itself, so we've got one, two, three, four, four squares, and we use a different colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. Um, so that has an area of four centimeters squared, and this one is four centimeters squared. Added together gives us eight centimeters squared. So something along those lines where you're showing how it's broken down. Okay, it's quadrilaterals on a grid. What's the area of the quadrilateral? So we could count the squares again, um, but the problem is these are partial squares, difficult to count. We could try lots of interesting methods, but if we break it down, so we have this rectangle, which has got th 4 by 3, which is 12 squares in it, and this triangle, this triangle, these two triangles are the same. In fact, if I take this triangle and stick it in here, then I get these four squares. So that's four squares there, so 12 plus 4 is 16. I could have worked out the area of one of the triangles because the area of the triangle is half the area of this rectangle. That rectangle is an area of four, so half of that is two, and that one's two. So that again, that adds up to four to make 16 in total. Oh, I was saying about circles, but here's one. Calculate the area of a circle with the radius nine. So the thing we need to know here is the formula for a circle, which is pi, oops, making a bit of a mess there which is pi times the radius times the radius or pi r squared. Pi is approximately 3.14 but if we've got a scientific calculator we can use the pi button which is on the calculator which we need to in this calculator use a shift button to get and times that by the radius which is 9 times by 9 and that gives us the answer that equals 81 pi. Now that is a perfectly fine answer but if you must have a decimal then 
254.469009 and I would recommend writing the whole answer down unless it asks you to put an approximate answer like number of decimal places or something okay now we've got a, a compound shape, it's a mixture of shapes put together mainly rectangles uh, each long side is double the length of the short side and the short side is 5 so these are all 5 and these long sides are double that which are 10 work out the area of the cross so there's a couple of ways we can do this, the, probably the obvious way is to break it up into four rectangles and a square. This square is 10 across by 10 down, so that's 10 times 10, which is 100. And each of these rectangles is 5 times 10, which is 50. And there's four of them, so 50, 100, 150, 200. And 200 plus 100 equals 300. A slightly more advanced technique would be to fill in the corners on each of those edges and then use that with the whole shape which would be 20 by 20 which is 400 minus the four corners which is 4 plus 25 so 400 minus uh, 100 which would also be 300 uh, units centimeters squared state units of your answer centimeters and its area centimeters squared there is one mark for writing that there'll be three marks for getting the 300 work out the perimeter of the cross Okay, I'm in a bit of a mess of the cross there, so I'm going to rub it out again. So the perimeter is distance around the outside. So we've got one, two, three, four lots of ten. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of five. So I'm going to add those together. So 40 plus 40 is 80 centimeters. Okay, we've got the area uh, of a shaded shape. Uh, here it's not a proper shape, it's a approximate shape. So Simon says the area of the shaded shape is between 32 and 60. Explain why it's correct. You and Matt don't hope your answer. So, between 32 and 60. So it's between, certainly it's got to be bigger than this area here of these whole, because all those are shaded in. And that's 8 by 4. And 8 times 4 equals 32. So it's definitely bigger than 32, and it's definitely smaller than this shape here. Oh, this shape around the outside, which all the shaded stuff is within. And that is 10 by 6. And 10 times 6 equals 60. So between the 8 times 4 rectangle and the 10 times 6 rectangle which equals 32 which equals 60 so there we go ok um, quite a traditional question with L shape rectangle find the area um, you can do this in two or three different ways you could cut off this bit here to make these two rectangles, you could cut off this bit here to make those two rectangles. You could even make it one big rectangle and, and work out what this rectangle has been taken away to make what's the L shape. Let's just go with the standard one, this one. So this is 11 by whatever this is. This is 12 across and 10 across. So this bit here must be 2 because 2 and 10 makes 12. So we've got 11 times 2, which is 22. And we've got 10 by 3, which is 30, and 22 plus 30 equals 52 centimetres squared. OK, another standard sort of shape. Um, this time, I think we probably um, will have to look at the best way to do this is to look at the whole shape. So this is 8 across here and H up here. So the whole area is 8 times H, or 8H. Um, this area here is 4 times 6, so the bit that's being cut out is 4 times 6, which is 24. So I'm taking that away from the big area 
and that gives me the area of the shape which is 56 so that's like an equation which we need to solve so something times 8 equal 24 is 56 now I could guess lots of answers to get the answer uh, but much better to undo what's been done to the equation to the letter H so we're going to add the 24 to make 70 and 10 is 80 and what times 8 is 80 so the H equals 10 could go back through and check all that but that's right and I think this is the last question um, composite shape of a rectangle and a triangle um, the height of the triangle is 13 take away 11 which is 2 um, this whole length here is 14 so this rectangle is 14 times 11 or 11 times 14 and that's going to be 154 you can use a calculator for that if you're not sure and the triangle is going to be 14 times 2 14 times 2 will give me the area of a rectangle and I need to halve it to get the triangle and that just leaves me with 14 so I've got 154 plus 14 which is 168 centimeters squared